But let's start by having a look at last year's State of Origin big clash. And of course, when you think of football, State of Origin football, you think of the great man himself, Mr. Football, Ted Whitten. Yeah, it's going to be a big one today. It's a uh, look bigger than uh, Tuesday night against New South Wales. This is a. Uh, it's always a bit of a uh, a blood and guts game. This one. We believe we can win. That's what we're here for. We didn't come here to run second. We're here to win, and it will be a tough match. There's no doubt about that. But. Uh, we hope when the final siren goes that we'll be in front. Now Scott, 55 metres out. Robert Scott sets home for home. Ablett is there. He's got to meet a couple. He's in front. He's picked it up now. Slung as he gets his kick. But it won't worry the champion. Bickley Marks plays on and then thumps it in towards the half-board region. Turnahan got his hands onto it. But Langford was there. He's smothering Stephen Turnahan effectively so far. Darren Jarman. What a kick! The goal! <laughs> South Australia possession. Oh, that's wonderful hand pass to Kernahan. Kernahan can level the scores. Steve Kernahan was in doubt, but he's kicked the goal and scored the level. Scott Russell gathers. Hand pass into the path of Pickley. It sits for him eventually. Hand pass further for infield. Bradley runs to the 50 metre line, but gives the hand pass away and sets it up for Tony Hall. He doesn't miss D. Straight through. So Victoria are playing a two-man forward line. They've got Salmon and Robert Scott right beside him. I don't know if that's the answer. Well, he comes roaring out. And here's Ablett. Inside 50, Gary Ablett. Time to swing round. Hit for home with a left foot. There's Gary Ablett in action. The ball falls forward, but Ben Hart off the ground. Couldn't clear the pack. Bickley over the top, McDermott, then McKay. South Australians playing quite confidently. And the mark is taken by Kernahan. Well, you'd have to nearly say he was within scoring distance, Stephen Kernahan. He's going to kick from 50 metres. It's a nice long kick into the square. It's taken. It's a goal to Darren Jarman. Taken by Steins. Possession number 21 for Steins. And a beautiful little kick from McGuan. He's going to set it up here. The kick is high, but it was purposely high. Out in front of Hannah. Hannah runs up near 50 metres. Tries to get past. Not all that successful. Handball back to McGuan, who ran to support. McGuan's kick is long. He's good. He's accurate. He's a goal. McDermott beats Gavin Brown and kicks in towards centre-half forward. Marking contest. No one can control it. Back goes O'Donnell. Kick off the ground by Jarman. It's a goal. Miraculous. Victoria to the half forward line through Williams. Ablett caught behind. Salmon is there. His hand pass. Well, somehow it finds Ablett. He chips towards goal. Hannah may shove it through. Yes. He has a look up forward. Goes to full forward. Plenty of flies. No one able to take the mark. Suck it up the ground by Jarman. That could be the seal for South Australia. Scholl loses it. Still on centre wing. There it is. South Australia have recorded a magnificent win. Graham Corns, Michael Taylor, and they're the boys that have done it. Back to the performance today, were there, were there any excuses at all? You say the There are no excuses aren't... whatsoever. Is there anything that could have no been excuses. done in the lead-up, the selection? No excuses. The timing of the, uh, the match in the middle of the season? No excuses. Are you happy with that? No excuses. Are you happy with the State of Origin concept as it is yes. at the moment? Yes, no excuses. This one is very, very significant because they were playing a very, very good Victorian side. There wasn't too many players they could add to it. Playing in a lot of cases, these guys were playing their third game in six days, and it was, um, you know, it was a good close contest all, all, all day. So from that point of view, it was great. The story of the game was that we were beaten and uh, beaten fair and square. Uh, their smaller players were too quick, uh, 
they uh, they played very close to the ball. They, they ran off the ball very well at the fall of the ball. And uh, then, of course, they zoned very well. And uh, we had no answers to that because uh, although we tried very hard, we, we hit the front in the, in the last quarter. Our big men up front, up uh, forward, didn't all fire as well as we expected. But uh, that's the way it goes. And uh, it's all over over for another year. Here is this big baby boo-boo. Uh-oh, it's Steven Spielberg and the crew. Sure.